Hi, everyone. My name is Jenea Palmer, and I'm the team leader of the New Jersey Hope and Healing Crisis Counseling Program at the Mental Health Association of Essex and Morris. For today's Mindfulness Monday, I wanted to talk about finger painting. So take a creative break with me. So this program is brought to you through the New Jersey Hope and Healing Crisis Counseling Program or the CCP. So the CCP is provided by the Mental Health Association. We're working in collaboration with the New Jersey Department of Human Services Division and Mental Health and Addiction Services, as well as the Disaster and Terrorism Branch. And best of all, we're funded through a FEMA and SAMHSA grant. So all of our counseling services are free, confidential, and virtual. Before we get into actual finger painting, I wanted to talk about the social and emotional benefits of finger painting. Oftentimes, when you hear the words finger painting, we oftentimes think about children. And with children, it's definitely something that's easy to use and work with because it does not require the use of something such as paintbrushes, which is a tool that they would have to utilize or learn how to utilize. So it's definitely easy to use and work with for children. It improves sensory experience. Uh, children are using all of their major senses, such as their visual, auditory, and kinesthetic. So it gets all of that sensory experience in there. It helps to define their fine motor skills. So utilizing the muscles of their fingers, their hands, and even when you think about it, moving up to your shoulders, we're definitely getting that movement into uh, their creativity, right? When children are creating with uh, finger painting. It helps children to recognize colors. It also improves hand-eye coordination, as well as the development of language and speech. Oftentimes, children are able to express themselves verbally after doing something uh, that is creative and fun. So that definitely helps with the speech and language development. Now for adults, there are also benefits for finger painting with adults. It helps us to express our feelings. Oftentimes we're so uh, wrapped up in our thoughts and ideas and our worries of you know, the future and what have you. So it definitely helps us to express our feelings in a way uh, that is very unconscious. And with that comes a healing experience. It's a stress reliever. Uh, finger painting can be used to help to relieve stress and improves our concentration. We're able to practice some mindfulness um, by using some finger painting activities and definitely help to build rapport and connection, especially if you're doing this with another adult or within your family or even with your children, it helps to build that rapport and connection by engaging in this activity together. So you're probably wondering, how can you be mindful while making art? Um, one of the first things I think is important is to let the process, not the product, be your focus. So try not to think about what the outcome will be. Try to really engage in the process and be present in the moment of creating. Um, another thing is to pay attention to the experience of painting through your senses. So you may want to take notice of, you know, how does the paint feel between your fingers or and the paper? How does it feel as you glide the paint against the paper or whatever um, material you're using? Um, can you hear any sounds maybe as you're opening the paint bottle? Um, is there anything that you smell? How does the paint smell? So just paying attention to the overall experience through your senses can be helpful in you know, being mindful while making some art. And then also approach the process with curiosity and acceptance instead of judging it as good or bad. Definitely trying to, you know, quiet down that inner self-critic as, you know, how would this really come out? I don't know what I'm doing here and this doesn't look so good. We're oftentimes so critical of ourselves. So try to, you know, approach it with curiosity and acceptance as you're creating art can be another way to be mindful while art making. So now I wanna switch gears and allow us to start making some art. So what I'll do here is show you what is on 
my table so we can get started. So there you see, <laughs> I have my paper. Just gonna start with picking a color that speaks to me. And right now that's orange. I'm actually working with a tempera paint, paint that I actually got from the Dollar Tree and just some computer paper. So I'm just gonna squirt out some colors that speak to me. Let's see. So I think that's the best way to start. Pick colors that really speak to you and place them on your paper in any fashion that you want. go. And once you're happy with that, then I say just get right into it. Move the paint in any which way or fashion you like to do so. But once again, recognize how it feels against your fingertips, against the paper, whatever material you're using. You may notice how the colors mix together. I'm just gonna get some more paint. I'm also noticing that how it even feels when some of the paint kind of runs out of my fingers, meaning that I'm creating almost like a dry brush effect, but without brush. <laughs> so um, that's quite interesting as well. And I kind of use up all that paint and it's just a little bit on my fingers and how that really comes across. Go in here and use more than one finger if you like to. It's up to you. Possibly you even want to use both hands to do your finger painting. Just have fun with it. And what I like to tell people is that you usually know when you're finished with your painting. You just get a sense or feeling that it's complete. So I would advise you to continue until you get that feeling of completion. Adding a little bit of my finger marks here, having some fun. And there goes my painting and my painted fingers. <laughs> I had fun with this and I hope that you're having fun too at home or able to do this, you know, on your own or once again with family members or someone um, that you love. 
to help build some rapport and connection or just practice mindfulness on your own. Okay, so I really hope that you're enjoying this activity. Feel free to work longer. I just wanted to do something um, just in a few minutes, just to engage in some mindfulness and show you how to do so using materials that you may have at home. Um, a little bit more about our program, we're providing emotional support related to uh, COVID-19. So anyone who's experiencing some stress, anxiety, or just feeling, um, you know, very uneasy with the changing times of the pandemic, feel free to contact us. Our phone number is 973-509-9777 and our extension is 151. We also uh, receive text messages from a number of people. So feel free to contact us through texting uh, if that is your preferred way of uh, communicating. Our texting line is 973-380-0507. And feel free to email us. Our email address is gpalmer at mhaessexmorris.org. I also advise that you check out our uh, website. We do have um, a specific page there that's related to COVID-19. So if you visit mhaessexmorris.org and click on coping with COVID, you'll see some more information about the services that we provide which are individual counseling, family counseling, as well as a number of support groups for just about all ages, children, teens, and adults. Um, most of our groups right now are involving um, mainly some support connection, but also some creativity as well. We have a knitting and crocheting group called Unwind With Us. We have uh, after-school chat and crafts for children and teens where they're you know, using creativity to de-stress, but also a form of connection. And then um, every other Friday, we also have something called Fun Zone Friday for adults, where we're engaging in some really fun virtual games and activities. But once again, giving some other points of connection throughout the week for individuals who are really, you know, struggling during this time. So I hope that you, know, you contact us, you visit our webpage um, or share this with someone who you may think may be in need or could benefit from our services. Once again, thank you for joining us for this mindfulness um, Monday activity and have fun finger painting.